This is tutorial number five in the playlist, which is called Transition from CATIA V5 to 3D Experience. In tutorial four, I described the icon that is present in the assembly design application or assembly design workbench, workbench which is called circular assembly, assembly pattern, okay, assembly pattern. Uh, however, that tutorial four dealt with describing the process for the rectangular pattern. Okay. So in this tutorial, number five, I'm going to repeat the same problem, except that I want to talk about circular pattern. Uh, now, the, the, there is no direct counterpart of this uh, assembly pattern icon or functionalities in the CATIA v5 program. However, there's something that, uh, you know, kind of uh, in parallel with it, but not quite. So I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, uh, in the assembly design application, uh, the assembly tab, if you select it, you see these icons, and the one that we're interested in is right here, assembly pattern. Notice that it looks like, by the look of it, just look at the icon, it looks like rectangular, but actually this can be uh, switched to circular. Unfortunately, the icon still looks the same. So, uh, the documentation is not very helpful, and my guess is that this was added in a rush, and probably in future releases they will uh, clean up some of the issues that I see in uh, uh, in how how this is implemented uh, in release twenty twenty four. Uh, in the CATIA v5 program, there is an there is a functionality called instantiation on a pattern. Now this is not directly or exactly what we are doing, but this comes closest to the one that uh, perhaps we have in mind. All right, so uh, when you click on that icon, the dialog box shows up. Obviously, in this uh, selection box, you have to select the thing that you want to pattern. And then over here, this is where you decide whether it's rectangular or circular or user-defined. So we can see that if you right-click here, you get these options we already covered create rectangular pattern in tutorial four, and now we're doing the circular one, okay? Now, when you do that, uh, this dialog box opens up and it says, uh, should I be creating a new, uh, you know, a new entity, a new shape? Uh, I'm not sure why they have it like that, but anyway, you just say, okay. And when you do that, this guy pops up, okay? And notice that I mentioned in tutorial four that this needs to be selected, reference element. That means the axis about which rotation is taking place is to be selected. And you have to actually select this, this area so that it becomes blue and then go select the direction. And up here, it's kind of awkward because it looks like you have to go and select something from that part which is wireframe related, for example, a point or a line or a or even a reference plane will do. You'll see. Uh, here is the help for general assembly pattern. As I said, it's not very uh, friendly. So let's go here. Uh, we, should, we go to the assembly design. And notice that I need two directions. Uh, the directions can be made by making having edges or having lines, etc. And the alternative is actually to use an axis system. And we can use an axis system right here, right here, without having done anything. We can create an axis system. It says uh, create a new one. Okay, this is the name of it. We can call this thing uh, uh, the the axis system holder. And there's nothing in it. It's just that access system that we're going to eventually create in a minute. Okay, the access system holder. All right, say okay. Now, automatically it's created one at the global origin, zero, 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 and we say okay. Incidentally, while we are at it, let me remind you how I managed to get these things very big. So you go to tools, Preferences, under the uh, common preferences, select the object properties, 3D shape, and display. Under the display, you have here the size of the access system, 
default is 10, it's too small. And I changed it to 24, it changes the size of the planes and the change of the access system so that we can grab it later easier. Good. Now we're going to insert the part that we want to actually pattern. So let me go right click, insert, insert the 3D part. And now we make whatever we want. So double click on this thing. For example, on this horizontal plane, I will sketch. Oh, something that we want to eventually, you know, rotate. Maybe I do something like that. Sure. Or something more complicated. It's entirely up to you. For example, something like so. And exit. Pad it. And we said, we say, okay. So suppose I want to take this thing and rotate it, create a circular pattern by rotating, rotating it about this X axis. Okay. First of all, you go, uh, you go all the way to the top level because you want to have access to this icon, uh, assembly tab, click on the icon. And for the, uh, the object to be patterned, you select this thing, obviously. All right. And for the specification, right click circular pattern. So this guy opens up. Remember I said this opens up. Say create new. Okay. Or okay. Well, actually, yeah. gives it to you. Now, if I want to do a complete crown, so I go and select this the complete crown. Otherwise, you can give you the number of uh, the number of things that you want to do, the spacing, etc. But I want to do a complete crown. And let's make it uh, six okay now for the reference element is the axis about which you want to you want to rotate notice i said that you need to actually select this area so that it becomes blue because right now i can't select these the, these these guys so click on there it becomes blue blue suppose i want to rotate it about let's say the x-axis six of them now here notice that you can't close this and if you go and select this, if you if you if you select this and go and grab that, you're going to get an error message. Okay, you're going to get an error message. So I'm not going to do it. So all I have to do is to select one of these reference uh, planes or a point that I have to create. Notice that I can create actually, create a point, create a line, etc. But these things will do too. Okay, and then we say, okay, and there we are. So if you took this and rotate it as a complete crown about that axis, you're going to get this. Now, there's a lot of junk here that is not needed. And we can actually, uh, by the way, if you look at this view from the front, let's see how it looks like. Uh, so the, the view from the front. Needless to say, it looks like that, okay? But uh, anyway, I pointed out in the previous uh, video and here that there's a lot of stuff that's created here that's totally unnecessary. For example, for example, first of all, I don't want to see any of these reference play, uh, reference play, any one of these parts that's created as a reference play. I don't want to see it. So control F, control find, where's that? Control F, control find find all the planes plane find and select them and i'm going to hide them hide them. good i also have some other junk here and those are the planes that are used for rotation purposes so notice that when you go to this uh, when you go to this tree you see a bunch of things that are generated here okay for example you can see that or you can see on the engineering connection all of these all of this stuff can be deleted. So if I go here, uh, well, let's delete it from, delete this, shift to here, hang in there. This shift here, well, that won't let me do that. So let me delete that guy. Oh, control Z, control Z, control Z, okay. So let me go ahead and delete the stuff that I don't want. So uh, can I do this thing one at a time? So delete this. Uh, 
That's gone. On. Now let's do a shift, see whether it works. The only problem when you do a shift, these things are also selected. So let me delete these one at a time. Okay, notice that those things are deleted. This can I can delete. Okay, and there's some more stuff here that can be deleted too. Uh, for uh, let's see now. Uh, these planes now this plane this plane remember i selected one of the plane associated with the main part if i hide it then this is going to go away so let's go to this uh, uh part uh there was a circular pattern right there let me hide that okay gone you can see that now you won't be able to delete those planes but uh, anyway the, when you when you hide this thing uh, when you hide this thing, you can hide the whole thing, every, all the play. If you select it, show it again, all these things are going to come back. Uh, yep. That's uh, pretty much it. So there's all kind of junk that's generated here, which is totally unnecessary. All these, if you go back here, all like down here, you even within these parts, there are all these things that are created. That now this I cannot delete it, but I hid it because that is the same thing that I hid. Uh, actually, let me go to the other one. Yeah. See so if I if I say show this, all of them are going to come back. So I can't I can't delete this. I cannot delete that. Okay, but I can hide it. All right, that takes care of a circular uh, pattern.